you know, look out at passersby and roll her eyes. Ugh. <laughs> trying to imitate my noises? Mm, no. Something. Hey, Cavaliers, they lost last night, but it was in Canada, so it doesn't count against it them, fortunately. Uh, Cavs go to 13-8. and eight. They lost by 12 points to the Toronto Raptors. It was 188. People like a nice round number. And uh, there it was. They are at home tomorrow night and Friday night. They'll play Philly tomorrow. They'll play the Orlando Magic on Friday night. Uh, 7 o'clock is your tip-off tomorrow night. So we'll roll at 6.30. Cavs live pregame will get going. It'll also be tomorrow uh, as the last day of the month. The last day you'll be able to use the promo code PUMPKIN for 20% off at CLE Clothing Company. Anyone want to hazard a guess as to what the December promo code will be that'll start on thursday and you'll have 31 days if history is any guide chestnuts i mean uh no Uh, not chestnuts uh snow joy novelty novelty Yes, novelty is. <laughs> <laughs> he nailed it. Oh. Present. Gift. No. Is it Christmas I'm sorry. themed? Or it is Christmas we... themed. Garland. Christmas Kwanzaa. No, uh, it is not garland. It's not calves related. Gift. Is it Christmas? Gift. Is it oh. Christ- Christmas related? Yes, of course. Here's a Santa. December. Oh, okay. You're warmer. Elf. Claws. With an E. St. Nick. No. S L A Y. Reindeer? <laughs> no. Ornament. Elf. No. Stocking. No. Mrs. Boss. We said presents, so. Tim Jolly Tim. is going to be your promo uh, code okay. for December at CLE Clothing That's Company. A tough one to guess. J O L L Y is going to get you 20% off all through the month of December at CLE Clothing Company. From all of us here at Guess the CLE Clothing Company promo code. Goodbye. So uh, jolly for <laughs> December. That's the first one in like eight months that's made sense. <laughs> what pumpkin for November didn't work for you? What was pumpkin it? should have been Bill October. For October. <laughs> Bill. Yeah, I think Bill was September. Yeah, spooky was October. something like that. There yeah. you go. That would make a lot of sense because that's when I taped my special. Mm. Ah. Okay, let me show you this video here. All right, yeah. this is People a guy who filmed him uh, himself uh, farting, and it got his dog and wife's. Uh, attention. Let me set this up here. He posted this on Instagram. <laughs> uh, the dog comes over to get a good uh, uh, view of it there. How did he even do that? You can see his sweatpants start to ripple a little bit, uh, by the way, towards the... That's uh, so disgusting. Uh, oh. At what point? Now, there has to be a happy medium between a good part. Mary and her boyfriend wanting nothing to do. She doesn't care. But he wants care. nothing to do with her when she's in the bathroom. He wants door shut like it's Fort Knox. Mm-hmm. Gwen and I are not farters and poopers around each other either. However, if I were to walk into the bathroom and she's having a whiz or vice versa, uh, it wouldn't precipitate a heart-to-heart conversation. But there has to be a... At what point in your relationship do you take the other person so for granted that you're doing this? That's what I'm talking yeah. about. It's so... Because it's, it's not like the wife... It's not hot. It's, it's not, not attractive. Like the, it's not like the wife is shocked. She's just like, she's yep. like, what are Here we you go doing? Again. <laughs> and it's not even like, oh, that's just Frank being Frank. Mm-hmm. Man, you'd be farting. It's so unattractive. Frank farts. Like that. I just think that when you're in a relationship and the longer you're with that person, the more important it becomes to stay attractive to that person. I cannot stress this enough. And people can go down the road of like, what? The race is over. Who cares? Man, people can leave. Mm -hmm. People leave all the time. Maybe you've heard divorce still pretty popular in this country. 
really pretty, popular. pretty popular. Um, but yeah, sometimes farts just get out. That was very reminiscent of the girl who let the big girl let the Chewbacca fart out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's disrespectful to Wookies everywhere, quite frankly. My girlfriend doesn't intentionally fart around me, but she's let a few slip out, but it doesn't bother me. Slipping out is one thing, but when you have no regard for like <laughs> my my feelings and like my <laughs> me wanting to be attractive attracted to you that that's a deal breaker i'm sorry like that if you purposely uh, if you put your butt up against me especially because you're supposed to be advertising but you're putting your butt up against me and then just letting it rip or if it stinks i'm just like well all right well i don't want to have anything to do with this what if you were with your dream guy no know, that's not my dream jared, guy. jared kushner <laughs> he was like a walking fart. He just yeah, looks like yeah. he's thin, like a like a wispy fart. And, he, and he's everything. He's rich. You're taken care of, but he likes to fart in funny ways like that. Are you sticking around? No, because if he's my dream guy, he wouldn't do that. He's a he's, a, he's a ten, but he farts. That's not my that's not my Jared Kushner. My Jared Kushner would never do that to me. Mm-hmm. Hashtag not my Jared Kushner. Not my Jared. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that's why Pound Cake and I, we've made a pact if neither of us are with anybody in 10 years. Uh, of course, we'll get married. Um, listen, I just think it's important to stay attractive to the other person because we're all living our lives. It's vi- And I'm not telling you anything you don't know. I don't think it makes them less attractive. It makes you less attractive to them. Not all the time. Not all the time. Never no, under... Like it's funny. Never. Funny's one thing. It's funny... For a while. And then your brain clicks to, yeah, it was funny. You know how people, it's a cliche, people go, the things that you thought were so cute when you were dating drive you insane the longer you're with that person. Oh, it's so cute. She's, and guys and girls do this. You know You know what? Every time she orders food at a restaurant, she tells him that she doesn't want this, and she sets her fork right next to the, you know, like little minute details. You think it's so cute because it's relatively new. Flash flash forward 20 years, you're like, move your utensils. I don't ever want to get to that point with my wife. I don't ever want to get to that I think that is a result of other problems. It though. might be. I'm just I saying, why put deficits in the negative column when you don't have to? All things being equal... Listen, if my girlfriend said, stop farting in front of me, I'd stop farting right. in front of her, yes. but she Instagram gets a Instagram farting might end up being the last straw in some relationship. Mm-hmm. Hey, baby, I can change. What, your pants? <laughs> you farted holes into every single pair of jeans you had. I do see that a, as a like fart. a big fart or a big problem where she's just like, no, it's not about the fart, Adam. You never listen to me. I've asked you six times not to do this, just like I've asked you eight times to put a trash bag back into the can after you take it out. That's right. Like, oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Is that a big deal? For, like- if, you know, my girlfriend takes the garbage out, I will, while she's taking it out, I'll put the bag in. Well, it's more, like, I think, if it's done when the other person's not home. Yeah. All right, or if they just sense. don't do it, and then you go to throw something away. Yeah, that's just a maniac. And now you've dumped cereal yeah. into a trash can. That's, 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 that's <laughs> you know? I think it's all nice. Like, why not try to make another person's life easy? Yeah. Especially saying. if you're with them, mm-hmm. right? Just little things. I'm sure my roommate's sick of me because he'll do the. Now I do do the dishes, but I take. Uh, my time. He said, "Bill." No, he do-do. said, "Do do." Did you hear that? Yeah, he said, Mary. Did you hear that? Dishes. He said, "Do do." Pound cake. Did you realize you said "do do"? I did. <laughs> oh, idiot! <laughs> Damn, I gotta be idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just don't say "do do," idiot. <laughs> he'll do the dishes, and I will do them later. But he'll get done with them, and I'll just. He'll just finish with the last little bowl or cup or whatever. He'll put it in the dish drainer. And then I'll come in with my snack or whatever I had. Just ready to go. I'm like, just put it right in there. (laughs) And I walk away. I'm like, I don't feel like doing them right. I'll get to it. You're not obligated to do them. But I will do them on my time. They will get done when I do them. (laughs) DD mega doo doo. So I think that's they like, will get did when I want to get them did. That was that gave me anxiety as a kid. Whoever was doing the dishes and someone would come in with a bowl right behind you, like you're you know used to have like one more dish, and then like 
the water, you're getting ready to drain the water, everything's done, and my brother come in like, oh, got one more for you. I wanted to kill him. I wanted to murder him dead right there. Hmm. But now you do that. But no, because he's done. He did, you know, put out all the water and put everything up. He walks away, and there's a fresh new dish in there, not even like 10 seconds after he's done. So yeah, he, that's frustrating. Yeah, but he's not obligated to do them. When it's my dish night, you do dishes for that entire night. I know you Gwen. You guys have be- dish nights? I know Gwen because yeah. I'm cleaning up around her as I she's doing things. I cannot stand that. And I fully understand, so I've had to make a conscious decision to not do that. Because she's like, where was that spoon I was using? I go, it's in the dishwasher. I was... I literally set I'm it down it. for a second. I have we have <laughs> yeah. made a rule in our house that Brian's not allowed in the kitchen while I'm cooking because when I first one hundred percent understandable when I first moved in, you know he has OCD. So when I first moved in, he was literally behind me with a broom sweeping up things or cleaning dishes or taking a pan off. I'm like, I'm not done with that, and I'm like, you have you have got to get out of this because room. it's you a fine it's a fine line between trying to be helpful and making the other person feel like they're creating a mess, and I don't want to do that. Like I'm. When you're done, like if she makes dinner or something, I'll clean everything up. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I had to make a conscious decision to like not do because I'm just trying to be helpful. Yeah, he's got. But that's lot, not helpful. He's gotten a lot better about it, but it was uh, the cause of many arguments because I'm like, dude, you cannot, you cannot be wiping things behind me while I'm trying to yeah. cook. You got to get out of the way. Yeah. Like, was Julia Child's husband <laughs> behind her? Like he was on a curling team right. with a broom. That's exactly All right, okay, what was that? Ooh, I'm Julia Child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what he was doing? Yeah. Yes, I knew exactly what he was doing. Do it again. Oh, I'm Julia Child. It's actually his best impression. <laughs> it might be. You know who she is, yes? I watched Julie and Julia. <laughs> oh, you did the Amy Adams movie? Didn't that lady just die? She did. The author yeah. of that book just died. Yeah, I watched Julie and Julia, and that's how I know. And I was like, who is this bitch? Like, why does she you care? You didn't know who Julia Child was before that? No. Huh. I didn't, I didn't watch you that. You were probably 10 anything. or 12 when that movie came out. Yeah, I, watched it, I think I watched it in college. I think it was for a, okay. I think I had a class where we had to watch certain movies and do a report on them. So wow. we watched Shut Julia and Julia. Shut up, pound cake. Hmm. Oh, I'm Julia Child. Oh, you just made a mess. <laughs> Hold on, my dear. Let me get my rag. <laughs> Woo! Now he's leaning into it. Mm, I like it. Do we have time for hot celebrity gossip? Oh, it looks like we do. Oh, okay, good. This is hot celebrity gossip with Perez Bilton. Ooh. All right, gas guzzlers. I got some hot goss for you today. Actress Minka Kelly was spotted holding hands with Dan Reynolds of Alan's favorite band, Imagine Dragons. <laughs> Reports are the celebrities are officially dating, according to inside sources. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> inside <One> sources. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Minka doesn't know. The inside sources. Comedy's all timing, Mary. Uh-huh, Minka know. doesn't actually know that Dan is in Imagine Dragons, so every time she hears one of their songs and almost vomits, he has to play along and be like, yeah, these guys do suck. Inside sources. <laughs> yeah, she's so hot. Yeah, she is hot. Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski were seen courtside at the Knicks game. The couple has been dating for a few months now, and this is one of the few times they've been spotted in public, according to Inside Sources. Inside Sources. Davidson said his... He likes taking girls to Knicks games because if they can sit through a Knicks game, they can probably make it through one of his movies. <laughs> Inside sources. King of Staten Island. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see. Going to uh, did Lohan and Musk hook up in Greece? Uh, there are rumors that when Lindsay Lohan was pretending to own a nightclub in Greece, old Musky visited Greece and the two hooked up. According to Inside Sources, Inside Sources, Musk and Lohan's hookup is being adapted into a movie called Herpes Fully Loaded. (laughs) This is Hot Celebrity Gossip with Perez Bilton. I know if you have money, you can pay people, but... 
People forget Elon Musk has like nine kids. This guy's out there living like, you know, eh, eh, you know. I don't care what you guys when say. When is he ever with his kids? Ever. Cody, he's not attractive. He is. No, he's he is. not. He's incredible. He is. He Those is. hair plugs as far as didn't billionaires even go, help. As far as billionaires go, he's- He's got such a weird face, He's dude. hittable. I don't care what you guys say. I saw him in okay, his who, Halloween costume. Like, what was he for Halloween? I don't know, some mega man. A guy who didn't make an awful business decision? <laughs> hey, Cody, this guy- Take that, Elon. nothing redeemable about him. I mean, he's other not than his money. Other guy. than his money, he he he. No, he's not attractive. Okay. I can't even imagine that he's charming, but he would have to be, right, to be where he's at. No. no. He th- he wants to be cool and funny, and he's not. I don't know why these rich nerds aren't happy with that. Being a rich nerd. Yes. Zuckerberg knows he's not cool. That's how he created Facebook. He wasn't getting laid. He's making a website because he was mad girls weren't having sex with him. Elon Musk grew up rich. That's not enough for him. He wants to be cool and funny, and he's not. Well, he's some crazy rich nerd on the spectrum. So he's looking at you like you got a nipple in your forehead. Well, wait. And trying to desperately trying to be cool and funny. He's so painfully not either of those things, and somehow that's not enough for him. Wait till you see herpes fully loaded. He can still (laughs) ring my bell. Hey, (laughs) ring your bell. Yeah. Maybe I just have bad taste. That's okay. No, no, listen, your taste is your taste, right? That's my taste. Yeah. But I, I would hit it. Like I've, I, I, The fact that you guys are I saying- I would hit it. He's a billionaire. Of course he would. But I'm saying the fact that you guys are saying like he's hideous, I've definitely hooked up with guys that work, look worse than Elon Musk. Well, listen, I'm, like, I, I'm not saying, he, I'm not not saying, saying he's a troll, but he's not like a, a, an attractive guy. Like, okay. I don't know. He's you know. not cute. Okay. Hello? Um, Hey. Hello, Who? Hello, Bill. Oh, there you are. Hi, Bill. Hey, who's this? I think so. Okay. I I do. It's been a while. And you're very quiet. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm calling from my new phone. You got another new phone? Yes, I'm using the Kroger Mobile. Okay, well, I got you now. So, what's going on? How have you been? I've been busy, Bill. Can you hear me? Yeah. How about now? Yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me now? I hear you now. Can you hear me now? I hear, I hear all the... Th- how, about, how about right there? There's good. All right. So, anyway... I just want to check in with you after the holidays, Bill. Well, Thanksgiving was great. We had a good time. How How was your Thanksgiving? Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna have to tell me about that one because I've never heard of that before now. What? How do you celebrate? Okay. Oh, that sounds complicated. It's so complicated, <laughs> Does anybody ever get hurt? All the time. <laughs> What's the worst injury that's it's happened? unnecessarily complicated. <laughs> sounds. But that's kind of the fun of it, right? No. I, I wish we'd stop doing it. But, but it's a tradition. It's a tradition, Bill. Listen, I was just, I wanted to make sure that I said hello to you. And I miss you, Bill. I, I miss you, too. Well, I'm here every day. You can always tune in. But you're in a different room. <laughs> you can still watch on the live stream or you can listen on the radio. But I can't walk by and see you, Bill, and well, I do that time. We'll be back there tomorrow. Do you walk by to see us? <laughs> yes, I'll walk. I'll stand across the street. I don't want to make you... I don't want to surprise you. Okay. Well, that's a little creepy. I'll stand there and silently fart. <laughs> so you just stand on the street watching me 
<laughs> letting farts seep out. Well, not plural. You can't even really see me because of where I sit. Not plural farts. Oh, just one long fart? Not in long. Uh, I see what you're doing, Bill. You're being funny. I did watch your new special, though. Oh, thank you. Yes. Pure booze. <laughs> no. It's... Pure booze. I watched it. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate that. I had my nephew uh, type it up on YouTube. Uh-huh. And I watched it. Was that before or after? It was after. <laughs> I needed a laugh, and I'll tell you what, it was the funniest 13 minutes I had ever seen in a long time. So it's 44 minutes. I know. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> wow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know me, Ben. I'm, You're a goofball. I'm a goofball. It's just my Swedish heritage. <laughs> I never knew that you had Swedish heritage. I've told I guess I didn't remember. I'm sorry. You hear me, but you don't listen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta go. All right, bye bye. Swing and a miss. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna t <laughs> took the wind out of his sails. Man. Yeah, I really did. <laughs> I uh, I'll regroup. I'm gonna take a, a break here. If you want to text uh, three five one nine two, I'll have those magic of lights passes for you. On the way back, carload pass. Pack everybody in your vehicle and get yourself to the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds for the holidays. So we'll do that uh, in a bit. AllenCoxShow.com. If you want to watch. And we'll be back. The Alan Cox Show. On our free iHeartRadio app and your favorite smartphone.